Hello everyone and welcome. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of April 4th through the 10th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to all of those who have subscribed to my channel as well as giving it a thumbs up and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. And the Empress is your first card out. So, for some of you, you're expecting a little one in your life. You know, abundance, fertile. You know, and if you're not wanting to have that little one, take precautions. This could be a new fur baby in your life as well, as well as new projects getting off the ground. You know, your, your health is returning. You're starting to feel that you know, there's lots of possibilities. You planted a lot of good seeds and you're starting to see them grow and people are starting to come around a little bit more. And the Knight of Cups, so very nice. You know, there you go. You're off on a trip for some of you. Usually it's by boat. You know, it doesn't have to be a long distance. It can be, you know, a canoe, a sailboat, that sort of thing. Just something that speaks to your mind. Just a short trip. For some of you, this could be an offer of love coming in. You know, maybe somebody's decided to break down the first wall and, and offer you, you know, let's go to dinner sort of thing. Or maybe this is you putting your heart on your sleeve and stepping forward. Mm, and definitely new beginnings. No doubt about it. You know, this is a vacation. Maybe you decided that you're going to take a vacation in the future here. Maybe this is with this other paper person. You know, the spring is here so where I am. So maybe, you know, you're thinking of uh, going camping or something like that if, you if you're if you able to do so. And maybe you're asking this person to go along with you. Maybe they like to do that sort of thing as well. And the Four of Rods. So there you are. Good, solid foundation. You're starting off on a, on a really good note. It's growing in the right direction. If this is a relationship, it's, you know, starting on good, solid ground. Like you're agreeing to different things with each other. You know, in other cases, you're rewarding yourself for what you've already accomplished. You know, it takes a mighty big step sometimes to ask another pretty person to, you know, go out for coffee and the ace of swords so there you are clearing the air you know with some people in your life maybe you've had to talk to some of them maybe you had told them that you know you were thinking of asking this person out and they're like oh I'll do it I'll do it I'll do it and you're just telling uh, I'll do it in my own time in my own way sort of thing for some of you you know you don't want to be pushed into anything but whatever it is, you're finding finding your own path here. You're improving different aspects of your life. And you're realizing that these are the right steps for yourself going forward. You found your purpose and you're feeling inspired this week to have some follow through and look into it a little bit more deeper. And the King of Swords. So there you are. You know, you are definitely flooded with... Lots of new, wonderful ideas for yourself. You know, you want to, if there's a problem or a situation in your life that has been bothering you for a while, you're, you know, you're going to attack the problem or the project head on. You know, you're going to find solutions. You're going to make sure that, you know, if these are jobs or whatever, you're going to make sure that you're getting the credit for the work that you've put into it as well. It's not just, you know, they're saying, oh, thank you to so-and-so because he's the one who opened his mouth. I thought it was your idea, that sort of thing. So good for you. So you're writing down, you know, your ideas so that when it comes time, the next time they ask you, well, what do you think or what are you doing? You know, you can give your good ideas and the two of pentacles so there you are you know, you're just juggling things walking on eggs trying not to upset anybody trying not to upset yourself and keep everything in you know perfect harmony and balance as best you can in your life but sometimes that becomes a little bit daunting and i think that's what's happening to you this week you know 
people see you as not really being decisive. So you're realizing that you need to lay your decisions one way or the other. And a celebration. So good on you. Maybe you're getting an invitation or maybe putting invitations out. Maybe you're deciding that you're going to have, you know, people over. Maybe this is a significant birthday, that sort of thing for some of you. And uh, you're getting the invitation and you're taking it and going and you are going to have a really good time. You're going to be glad that you accepted this. So that's beautiful to see. And that's okay. Maybe you've you know, when you're there, you're going to see some people that have let you down in your past, you know, and you've cut them out of your life or you will because they're, you know, deciding to spill the beans to everybody and you've just had enough and you realize that you don't deserve it. You didn't earn it. You know, you put your trust in the wrong person and we've all done that a few times in our life. So, you know, you're letting go of the painful circumstances and you're moving yourself forward, you're healing yourself. You know, maybe you were treated unfairly and you're realizing that I'm gonna stand up, take the swords out, dust myself off, not give away my power anymore and cut that person or that situation out of my life once and for all. And once you make that decision, you won't turn back. You won't make your, you won't change your mind. You've already made that decision. You're just trying to clarify that this is exactly the person or the thing that needs to stop and you will, you'll do it. You know, you're maybe in some cases, you know, you're got a better offer somewhere else on the table. So you're got a better pay raise and maybe they decided to say that, oh, you didn't earn it, that sort of thing. So you're just, you know, and if that's in a job situation, you're just washing your hands of the silliness of it. You know, you're just, you're not going to engage in the silly things. You're curbing those, you know, impulses to react and answer. You've already, you're ahead of the game when you do that. You've realized that you're in power and control. And it's not that you're not doing nothing. You're doing the right thing so that they got nothing left to feed off of. So good for you. And the Knight of Wands. So there you are. You're motivated to change for sure. You know, you've confronted this situation. You've done your planning. And now you're stepping forward for yourself. For some of you, you're going to take a little bit of a trip as well. You know, maybe you decided that I deserve... And it's a reward for yourself that I'm going to just go somewhere, feel better about myself, enjoy myself. That might be, you know, with this invitation to the party, maybe you have to do a little bit of traveling to get there. And the Six of Swords. So there you are, making that final decision for yourself this week. Deciding which way you want to go. You have been, you know... Standing up for yourself, doing the battle, getting no rewards for your efforts put in. And this is the week that you're making that final decision for yourself. For some of you, you're actually physically thinking of moving to a totally different area in your life. You know, onto better better horizons. In some case, you know, uh, another city, another company. You're just tired of, uh, you know, always feeling like you're having to swim upstream and, and you just want peace and clarity in your life and happiness and you're going to make sure that it's going to happen for you. And the Five of Pentacles. So there you are. Maybe there was a bit of a setback. And this can even make you ill going through this all the time. The stress of this is terrible what it will do to the human body, although we think we're handling it because we're not verbally saying anything. But internally, it it does cost so maybe this is the week that, you know, you've had to take some time off work because you're, you know, a little bit run down and you're not quite sure why, that sort of thing. And for others of you, this could be an unexpected um, bill that has showed up. Maybe, maybe you forgot to pay one or maybe you're just worrying way too much about this new move. You know, you're overanalyzing it, but you'll be fine and it will turn out the way you anticipated it 
you just got to give yourself a little bit of time all right i'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card but your cards are good you're going to stand up for yourself you're realizing where you want to be who you want to have what you're no longer willing to deal with so you're on the right path New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. Well, there you go. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.